This time on new content coming to Helldivers 2, 4 new guns, 3 new armors, and a thermite grenade in the new premium warbond on Thursday, April 11th. The BR-14 Adjudicator Rifle is a marksman gun and is best for small groups. Turn it into a fully automatic gun if you hold square and change the weapon type to auto. And you can change the scopes as well, which is really fun with a marksman gun. It's good for small and some medium sized enemies, but not big ones. The AR-20 L Justice has more damage and is better. These new marksman rifles aren't that good for robots. They will kill them, but they work better for bugs. The R-36 Eruptor Rifle is a bolt action explosive gun and is my favorite because you can shoot down multiple walkers at once with a single bullet kill tons of enemies at once and you can one shot lots of enemies in general just be careful when shooting enemies close to you because of the blast radius and this is only good for medium range because as you see the bullet doesn't reach across the lake to those far away enemies this gun absolutely wrecks bugs so i wanted to test it out on robots and even against them it does a great job unlike the adjudicator rifle the eruptor is great for higher difficulties although you need to be more accurate with your shots since you have to reload after each one right above the eruptor in the explosive category is the new CB9 Exploding Crossbow, which one-shots small enemies, several shots slightly bigger enemies, and racks up damage on big enemies. This has a really good fire rate and you don't have to reload after each bolt. It's so useful to quickly do explosive damage and I found it to be one of the most fun guns to use. The grenade pistol is extremely useful. You can destroy outposts with a couple shots. One shot bug nest. Now you don't have to stand close to one and throw your grenade in, plus you'll easily kill any bugs nearby the nest as you destroy them. One shot, sometimes two shot walkers, clear out bunkers, destroy tons of enemies at once when a dropship comes, put up good damage against big enemies, and now combine that with the ballistic shield. Now that's fun, Helldivers. The thermite grenade can stick to any surface, and since the damage isn't high, it's best to make a direct impact with enemies, and multiple times as well to rack up the damage. So what it lacks in damage, it makes up for in radius. And the explode radius is really big, and it also has another use, which is light Lighten up dark areas like a flare, which is also a new upcoming stratagem. We'll get one day. Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Two on one. There, it's stuck. It's stuck on him. It's stuck on him. On Thermite's okay, on the hole. Right on him. Yep. Let's see it. Let's he see can't it. Move. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Let's see if it kills him. Nah. We're checking. He's alive. It definitely did damage. <laughs> yeah, it did damage though. Nice. Then you just one shot it. Nice. There's a new booster called the Expert Extraction Pilot Booster, which lowers the time it takes for the extraction shuttle to come. How much time do you ask? Only 20 seconds. As you can see, the shuttle comes in at 1.40 instead of 2 minutes. Up to you if you think that's worth your booster slot. Personally, I think it's worth putting on other boosters, which would help you survive those extra 20 seconds, plus benefiting from other boosters the whole rest of the game. Here's the new armors and capes. The new light armor is the CE-07 Demolition Specialist. Armor passive further reduces recoil when crouching or prone by 30%, increases initial inventory and holding capacity of grenades by two. The new medium armor is the CE-27 Groundbreaker. Armor passive increases thrown range by 30%, provides plus 50% limb health. The new heavy armor is the FS-55 Devastator. Armor passive further reduces recoil when crouching or prone by 30%, provides 50% resistance to explosive damage. New capes include Harbinger of the True Equality, Eagle's Fury, and Freedom's Tapestry. Let's combine increased thrown range with thermites, so we're gonna use the medium armor. And here's how far you can now throw. And just a bonus tip for all you guys still watching, a very useful new stratagem can send in a jet and shoot missiles at dropships, instantly destroying them, and it can do multiple ones at once, known as Eagle Air-to-Air -air Missiles. Another bonus tip for watching until the end, I know someone is wondering what this new mech is about. This is an upcoming new exosuit with auto cannons on each side, which is way better than the current exosuit in the game. It can destroy outposts, it's perfect for going toe to toe with big enemies like hulks, destroys gunships really quick, although it doesn't destroy dropships, I think they're working on that, but you can kill enemies as they're falling out, all that good stuff, which I'll make a separate video on. Except for the anti-air jet and the exosuit, all of this is releasing in a premium war bond Thursday, April 11th. These new guns, thermites, armors, and capes will be shown even more in my upcoming post to help you guys decide which ones you like to use and if you'll get this warbond. If you guys are curious what other new things are coming to the game, like new stratagems and stuff like that, check out my previous videos. I cover some of that, and I'll be continuing to do so, as well as new armor as well. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.